yan. And yan, dito na po natin i-discuss yung different PISA levels natin. So we have six PISA levels. So an example po, at level 1. So level 1, students have such a limited scientific knowledge and yun, yung mga information dito, obvious and follow explicitly from given evidence. So an example for this is the genetics puzzle here, na crossword po, or at saka yung trick or traits natin na word hat. Na kung saan dito, uh, the students are given the definition of the uh, words and they will uh, answer it through the uh, different puzzle. So uh, basic, simple part lang to nung uh, uh, memorization skills, understanding skills ng mga students natin. And ito, at level 2, based din sa PISA report, uh, Filipino students on the part of scientific literacy ay averaging lang po sa level 2. So, uh, our students, nandito sila sa level na to. So, they can draw conclusion based on simple investigation. So, ang example ko naman po dito ay yung gawa ng isa natin module creator na ang title ay Heredi Cards. So, these are flashcards na kung saan they can access sa studysets.com. Ayan. So, bakit draw conclusions based on simple investigation? Kasi, sa mga flashcards na to, may mga problem-based questions na kung saan they can flip the card and they will uh, know the answer. So, yan, just by uh, reviewing the question, they can draw conclusions based on simple investigations. And another level, level 3, ito yung title naman po ay Double In, Investigating the Inheritance. So, genetics po ito on the grade 3 level. So, uh, the task for the students is to develop short statements using facts and make decisions based on scientific knowledge. So, ang task po ng mga students, sa mga students here, is to determine whether the given characteristics are inherited or not inherited. So, for example, yun po, zebra has alternating black and white stripes. So, is that inherited or not inherited? And they should support it with their uh, argument or justification. Ayan. So, they can develop short statements using the facts and decisions na na-acquire nila doon sa uh, discussion natin. Kasi ang, ang ating pong tactic lagi dito sa paggawa ng module is mag, manunood muna yung mga students ng lecture video na gawa din ng module creators sa kanila sasagutan itong mga supplementary assessments. Nang sa ganun, ma-check nila kung may natutunan sila. And for the fourth level, uh, yan, highlighted here is that the student should communicate decisions using scientific knowledge and evidence. Since we want nga to be playful sa ating mga students uh, and not to make uh, these assessments boring, so in-incorporate din natin yung some cartoons like yung Family Guy. Ayan, so familiarizing the heritable traits of the Family Guy. So af after uh, seeing the picture, there will be guide questions for this uh, kind of assessment na parang ang questions is, are... Uh, ano yung mga characteristic or traits na pare-pareho sa family na to? Ano naman yung pagkakaiba-iba? Is there variation? Bakit kaya ganon? So, laging may uh, follow-up question dun sa ating guide questions. Sapagkat we want our students in this level, level 4, to communicate their decisions and support it with corresponding evidence. Ayan, using scientific knowledge and evidence. Okay? And Second to the last, we have we have this PISA level number five. An example for this are the traits mixing and the detective gene. So uh, here the students should construct explanations based on evidence and arguments based on their critical analysis. So para na tong uh, nasa hats level na tayo na kung saan uh, yung critical thinking skills ng students yung tinatakal natin. So Ang example po dito yung traits mixing. So kung maaga kayo dito sa Zoom meeting natin kanina, pinilay po siya ni Sir Jeff. So ito is uh, parang yung mga nips candies natin represents the traits of the uh, the parents na kung saan yung uh, offspring, sila yung mag acquire ng mixed traits na kung saan uh, our students can uh, investigate by that video kung paano nga ba nag-work yung traits mixing and yung heredity. And then yung sa detective gene, since mga bata sila, mga elementary students. Ang ginawa naman ng uh, module creators natin dito ay yung storytelling part. 
na kung saan ang story dito ay may isang bata sa bahay ang punan na kung saan may dalawang father na nagsasabi na sila yung totoong tatay. So, paano natin malalaman kung sino yung totoong tatay dun sa dalawa? So, we have uh, the traits given dun sa bata and traits ng dalawang parents. So, doon malalaman kung sino yung plausible or possible na parent or father no bata. So, makikita natin dito na very varied yung ating mga uh, assessments na binibigay per PISA level din dun sa ating mga students. And last but not the least, yung PISA level 6 po natin. So, dito, most of the assessment, based on my observation din po, since quality assurance uh, staff din po ako sa Filipino Science Hub, yung mga ginagawa ng mga module creators natin kapag PISA level 6 yung tinatarget nila, they create authentic assessments nang sa ganon, yung creating level or yung part ng creation ng mga students ay ma-boost. So, here, the students should demonstrate advanced scientific thinking and reasoning. So, itong food chains camera action, ito ay uh, vlog or tic mini TikTok video na kung saan may, of course, meron pong supporting rubrics na binibigay yung mga module creator. So, don't worry if you will access po yung ating mga sample assessments sa ating website. We also provide teaching guides where the answer keys and tips sa pagtuturo ng mga and pagbibigay ng assessment ay nakalagay din po doon together with the links for the worksheets para sa mga bata. So, that's uh, the six PISA levels from PISA level 1 to 6. And then, ayun po, uh, I hope na uh, marami kayong uh, bagong natutunan since uh, most of the, uh, some of the uh, teachers nga kanina ay nabanggit na they are not familiar with the PISA. So, ayun po, we have six PISA levels that targets students' critical thinking. And hopefully, by implementing and incorporating this PISA levels sa ating mga assessments, ma-fill na po natin yung gaps that was identified by the PISA report. And sana, by this PISA levels din, mas uh, ma-enhance uh, pa natin yung critical thinking skills, yung scientific investigation skills ng mga students natin when it comes to STEM learning.